My name is Paul Constable Calcott. I'm of the Wiradjuri people on my father's side and of Irish heritage on my mother's. I didn't grow up on country. I grew up in Western Sydney on Barramatagal country. I want to tell you about my journey of becoming an Aboriginal artist. I've always loved painting. I did art in school and always did really well. And the quirkier the art teacher, the better. I used to love doing sketches of terrace houses and landscapes, which my aunties used to ask for. I think I must have been genetically wired to paint. My father was a painter. He did not talk much about culture when we were growing up because at that time you could not be openly proud of being Aboriginal for fear of being persecuted. He had seen our cousins go through this and did not want us to go through it. He wanted to protect us. Dad was always painting something and he used to draw caricatures of people. He loved colours. I remember that he painted each of the fence palings at home in different colours. I never saw him paint traditional Aboriginal style. It wasn't until he got sick with cancer that he started to open up to me about his culture and what this meant to him. And I guess at that time I stopped being a bit of a brat who was a bit embarrassed about my culture and started to appreciate it. I started to have these images in my head. On my 50th birthday, my partner Rob bought me paints and brushes and told me it was time for me to get this stuff from inside my head. I started to experiment with traditional styles and symbols of my father's country, using these to tell my story of being an urban Aboriginal man. It's my connection to culture and it's my place to be calm. I'm always telling a story. My father and my ancestors are surrounding me and have been guiding me virtually ever since I took up painting. It's one way of helping me to do my part in keeping my culture alive. My painting has become a passion with me. My art is in honour of my father and my ancestors. However, I don't just see myself as an Aboriginal artist. That's very important, but not just on my own. I had polio as a child, and I'm now part of a movement of Aboriginal artists with disabilities. I started a group for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists who have a disability called the Nanjamanji Art Group. This story is for my family and future generations to help keep their story strong so that they can be proud.